Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna feel this fire. What birth control are y'all using? I just realized we actually need to answer. Yes. Oh yeah, that's how this game works. You guys ask us questions on our Instagram story and then we sit down and talk about it. So what's the answer? You know what birth control we're using? Just still breastfeeding. Okay, that's not a that's, definite. That's not 100% foolproof. Yes. Yeah, I know, that's that's one of them. I, you know, was on the pill for a couple years. Mm -hmm. Then I used something called natural cycles. Remember when I was taking my temperature? Mm, yeah. I do. None of that's happening at the moment. I mean, we're preventing it, it with other methods that are not a pill. Why is this question so awkward? We're preventing. We're preventing in methods that are not the pill, not cycle, schmeichel thing, and not a f f thing that Jess is putting on her body. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> Why does it feel so weird to say that <laughs> word? I don't want to say it. We're both going to say it together. No, Ready? I'm not saying it. Three, two, one content <laughs> do y'all sleep naked wow that one wasn't even i know it was, it was just like straight to the point no almost yeah almost i'm on my boxers i'm on my box what what was weird didn't why know did you I... southern just says like all of a sudden we moved to nashville and then i have a southern accent all of a sudden southern accent see I what she does that i like talk normal and then she go nancy talk like this like we're in the dirty dirty south we are it's true <laughs> i usually sleep in like a bralette and pj pants and i also recently have kind of been sleeping with socks on which is so bizarre and then you wake up with only one sock on <laughs> that happened one time our next question actually comes from our buddy zach and he says hey zaka is too big a problem he probably wanted to submit that anonymously <laughs> in our situation sometimes oh my gosh <laughs> I'm not even gonna feel this fire. That's how you know you have good like homies, like in the most roundabout way. They're just like lobbing it up for you. What is your ick about the other person? What is your ick about me? I wanna know. Do you have one for me? I can find one. Come on, I guess. you have one. I guess. You would know what it is though. Yeah, I think you know this one too. Just is ick about me. Just rewind the video like 30 seconds or so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my ick about you is that you get rid of your boogers in the shower. Even if we're in the shower next to each other and just out of nowhere, you clean, clean them out and like they're probably going all over my body. Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. <laughs> it's so much better to do it in the shower where they're just gonna fall on the floor and go down the drain than like out of the shower when you're like <gasps> and then you have to shove like tissues up your nose to get all the residue. I know, I think it's just like I'm right there is the mm. thing. What's your ick about me? Can I guess? Go, guess. That I leave my shoes all over the house. Two points to Jess. Was that it? Was that what you were thinking? No, I was thinking of another one, but it's not really, and I've said it before, but it doesn't necessarily apply to you because you don't paint your own nails. One of my icks is when anyone paints their nails, but then they leave it on and don't, and then it starts like chipping. Yeah, chip. And nails. then you don't do anything about it. Like just wipe it off or like repaint it. It's probably not an ick to a lot of other people, but just like me being like, just have it one way or the other. One way or the another. other. I'm gonna find Thunder. you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Have you ever slept in a different room, i.e. the sofa? Gabe we, slept in a different room last night. That was, di that's not because of, it's a different room depending on necessity, not off of like hard feelings. Yeah. We've yeah. never slept in a different room because we were like upset at each other. See, I thought I have. I thought for some reason when we lived in LA, I was upset and I slept on the couch, but I think my intention was like, I'm upset. I'm gonna sleep on the couch and then I just came to bed Like I think I laid there for a little bit and really? then came to bed, yeah. I don't even remember that I was in the guest bedroom because Makai is going through a sleep regression, which is super fun Normally, I don't go into the other room. Yes, but I had to wake up early So it's not like I could sleep in in the scenario that we had a bad sleep. How do you split finances? The answer is don't. We do not split finances. But I do remember it was nerve wracking. I might've even talked about this before. Nerve wracking for me, the idea of combining finances at the beginning because you had more money than me. I'll just say it. And it just felt weird. Weird. And I had to get used to it. We did not combine finances until after we were married. That's like a big thing was like, once we have our marriage relationship to become one, that means our finances become one and all the other things in our life become yeah, and now I can't imagine having separate finances and mm -hmm. I feel like it aligns you more Especially if you have financial goals together. It's just like one team in one direction mm. And I'm sure people doing it the other way around would mm -hmm. say like combining could get messy But I think cuz that's all I know now. I mean, 
combining can get messy just like not combining can get messy. Deep. You have to be on the same page. Like you have to be proactive in making sure you are aligned with your finances, with your same goals, investment strategy and saving strategy and all those sort of things prior to a situation arising that could cause things to get messy. Do you ever get tired of being around each other? Yes, I know you do. What time is it right now? I'm never bored around you and I like love your company all the time, but I feel like every now and then like it gets to a point where we're like, we have different things that we want to do. I might want to sit and scrapbook for a little bit and you want to like build Star Wars Lego and it's like we can do those things separately. But I wouldn't say it's because we're bored of each other. It's more so like the interest that is outside of an activity that we do together. I'm not going to never hang out with the homies and play sports on the weekend because I'm married now. You know what I mean? Just because I'm going to do that thing on the weekend, like go and play basketball at 9 a.m. on Saturday like I'm gonna do this weekend and just absolutely school some fools on the court doesn't mean I'm not going to miss you in the process. I love that you just had to put that in. Like, by the way, I'm gonna school these fools. I just have to let people know that I'm gonna do the classic dunk on them. And as I'm grabbing the rim, the defender beneath me is just gonna get a face full of crotch as I swing in. Oh, like, <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what's gonna happen. I think you get tired of me sometimes. No, you're wrong. I get tired period therefore the introvert part of me needs to just sit alone and veg out for a little bit just by myself it's actually interesting when we got married i noticed a shift but it's because we live together now yeah i am in the place where you become introverted and you need your alone time whereas mm -hmm. before marriage i didn't experience that like introverted side of you where you needed mm. space from me yeah, that's that why i think i take it as you get tired of me but really mm -hmm. it's just like your introvertedness Mm -hmm. needing space from everyone. I would say that's the same for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is kind of in the same vein. Do you ever kind of hate each other? Like, obviously you love each other, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, like, I know you get annoyed with me. You do, I know you do. Where? Sometimes I'm annoying. Like you tell me I'm annoying. Oh, that's as a joke. Jess, what? that's a joke. <laughs> no, she's like gets in this goofy mood and then just starts roasting everything I do. And then I go, oh my gosh, babe, you're so effing annoying. Yeah. That's different than like actually being annoyed at you and like just not wanting to be around you yeah unless we're having a little tiffy mm. those are few and far between few and far mm, few and far mm. Mm. so far so good mm. lately i've been doing this thing because mm. jess does that sometimes and now i've been making fun of her so that's like that situation in reverse right mm. <laughs> what are you thinking yes what? i'm thinking what the heck was that <laughs> i had to really think mm, okay do you ever annoy me no, I don't think so. No. And we're a couple years in, so. Wow. Not a couple. <laughs> How do you keep each other interested after being together for so long? <laughs> you like, don't need to. Getting naked. Don't even I don't try. Know. <laughs> like just being intentional with. What play? I? No. <laughs> oh my God. Delete. Sorry. <laughs> the way you said that was so awkward. Oh my God. I was trying to find the word of like, just being intentionally loving towards each other. Yes. That will naturally just kind of like keep interest and attraction there. I think like physical touch, the little things, like I really love when you like come give me a hug or like give me a kiss throughout the day, stuff like that. How was your first night together as a married couple? Was it awkward? I mean, it was like, so so <laughs> no it was great i'm saying was it awkward though like it was like kind of awkward but it was like awkward in the way that you would expect when you're like trying to have sex for the first time i don't you know think what i mean it was awkward all i remember is the next morning gabe gets on his snapchat oh my gosh he didn't post this thankfully i would not post this on my snap but now we're talking about it so like i might as well have it was one of the all-time greatest snapchats that i ever sent just know he did a snapchat that was very embarrassing sent it even to my sister i just sent it to people who would appreciate it maybe you will find out one day i don't know we'll see but was it awkward no i don't think so to put it in context like it was more awkward than it is now because now we're six years in and it's like we do it every night so <laughs> I it's mean, like you get like, now. yeah, like, like, what is this video? Was it weird seeing the other person naked for the first time? No, I don't think it was weird. It was like romantic. I probably found myself weird. I remember feeling like, is yeah, this just going to feel normal one day to just like undress in front of you or something like that? And just like, not even think like, oh my gosh, everything's out yeah, to display right now. Yeah. And I feel like that now. It's just like... It is so normal now. Yeah. Like we spend most of our days just absolutely butt naked walking around the house. Like what you guys can't see in this frame, like I'm naked from the waist down. Like I only have this sweater and shirt on.
Well, I hope you're happy. That was some TMI. Yeah, that was very TMI. I'm a little sweaty. It's Knees like, weak? Mom's spaghetti. Check out this video if you haven't already. Ooh. Excuse oh. me, why did I? <laughs> Are you good? Bye. Bye. <laughs>